how to raise the price of the house that you're willing to sell 1.5 times and really sell it. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips how to prepare your house for sale, which is gonna bring you more money to the table. My name is Galina Schechtman. I'm a realtor in San Diego and County for over 22 years. And I really want to share some little things that are going to bring you big money on the sale of your house. Right now, we are located in this beautiful house, which is a single story home, which is rare to find in Rancho Penasquitas. This house is on the market for $1.25. $5 million, it's three bedrooms, two baths, 1,600, five square feet, and very extensive backyard, almost a third of an acre. And I'm going to give you some suggestions how you can bring your price up for the quick sale of your house. Pretty much rule number one, of the staging before you stage the property is declutter and depersonalize the property. As much as I understand that you love the items that your kids painted for you, some other craft that your kids gifted to you, or even your own paintings, my suggestion is to take all the art stuff, all the photos of your loved and family, so people can imagine themselves in the house not concentrating on the photos and on the art that you cherish. My suggestion to put all unnecessary items in the garage or even better. Rent the storage. At the close of the sale, you will have to vacate the house anyways. So why don't do it a little earlier? Put all your valuables, all your furniture, all the paintings and craft in the garage where it's going to be safe and you're gonna have the key to it. Rule number two, deep clean the house. Don't leave any area. Wash the windows, look through the railings, wash the front door, pressure wash the front yard, the backyard. Take a look in the kitchen. Clean out all of your cabinets. I just wanna let you know that potential buyers will be opening the cabinets and see how the kitchen looks or the other cabinets in the house. Are they in good condition? So it's better not to be embarrassed, so clean them out. Go to the bathrooms, wash all the mirrors, clean out the bathtub, take an extra junk or extra stuff that you have in every single corner of the house and remove it from the house so it will not distract the potential buyers. Water pressure the exterior. Wash the front door. If you can, you can repaint it. Rubbers between the doors, all the knobs, that would be good to check on all of them. If they're in working condition, check out the garage door. Make sure that it's in good working condition. Make sure that around the garage, everything is clean and nice. Remove all the spider webs around the house, within the house, anywhere that you can think of. Look at every single corner of the house and clean it out. Let's talk about big repairs and the little repairs. Repairs and the updates. As much as I understand that every woman would like to have oversized kitchen and a um, nice pantry, not every house has it. But what can you do to make it look appealing to the potential clients? First and foremost, clean out the kitchen, clean out the sink, clean out the dishwasher. Put some extra pieces. What do you think when it comes to kitchen? You imagine the aroma of cooking or baking, or you feel the cinnamon, spices, you think holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas. So the kitchen is like a heart of the house. You can spice it up. Put some accent pieces, put some candles, put some vases, bring some flavor. Put the cooking book, for the people to visualize that they will be able to live and cook in this kitchen and they will enjoy it. I'm just gonna give you some example of fully remodeled kitchen and how much it's gonna bring you or minor repairs and how much it will bring you. By investing 30, 40, or even more thousand dollars in the new kitchen, do you know what 
will it bring you in the return? Let me tell you. According to the national report, cost versus value, minor kitchen repairs and remodeling will bring you 96.1% on your investment. And major repairs, like fully remodeled kitchen, only 49.9. Also, when appraiser comes in, they appraise the square footage of the value, the location of the value, and they compare it with the homes sold in the area. My suggestion would be to see the homes that have been sold in your area lately and see did they fully updated the kitchen or they did minor repairs to sell their house. So for example, you still want to fully repair the kitchen and you're replacing it. To the new homeowners, it will just become a nice bonus, but you will never get 100% on your investment. My recommendation would be repainting the house, repainting them in the neutral colors. I have two of my favorites. One of them is Cameo White, and the other one is Swiss Coffee. They very close in color. They very light and neutral and bring light into the house. For example, this house three weeks ago was repainted in Cameo White. You can see for yourself how the whole house looks. The lighter, more neutral color is beneficial to the house. It opened up kind of like open up the walls. Not really, but it brings more light and air into the house. Another thing to consider in the kitchen, look at the hardware. You can change the hardware. It's simple and easy. It's not gonna cost you too much money. By installing light fixtures throughout the whole house, which is not as costly, but also will bring the value to the house. If you're going to talk about the kitchen, you can refresh the countertops. Not necessarily you need to replace the whole slop, clean it out. In some cases, new layer of color or new layer of paint, paint would be beneficiary as well. Let's talk about the bathrooms. Full bathroom remodeling will bring you as much as 45.1% in return. The smaller projects, however, are gonna bring you 73.7% .7 in return. So before digging in into the D uh, big projects, think twice, fix, repair, replace, rather than the whole big project of having the new bathroom and bathtub, showers, etc. If we're gonna talk about the paint, do not underestimate the paint ability. You can repaint anything. You can repaint floors, ceilings, walls. You can repaint the bathrooms. You can repaint the bathroom floors. Freshing up the whole house goes a long way. Let's talk about the house in general. If you're gonna look at your fixtures and the little details like a little uh, lampstands, you don't have to reinstall them, you can have them like a floor lamp, which also gonna bring um, more light into the house. Be sure that the old light bulbs work throughout the house, including the bathrooms and the closets. One more tip. By repainting the exterior of the house could bring you 50-60% on your investment. Do you think it's a good idea to repaint the exterior of the house, I really do so because the potential buyer walks not inside of the house first. What do they see? They see the exterior of the house. So pay attention to that. Based on the example of this house, floors are a little damaged or worn out. What can you do? You can resand and stain them in one color or the regular floors, you can paint them. Consider removing all the window treatments. They distract the buyers, especially if they are older and heavier ones. Therefore, I suggested to my buyers to remove all the curtains throughout the house so more light comes into the house and people can imagine whichever curtains they would like to install when they move in or shutters for this matter, it's up to them to choose. 
It's very important to have a nice curb appeal. Again, before potential buyer walks in to the house, what do they see? They see the exterior of the house and your front lawn. So I suggest to clean it out, mow the lawn. If needed, put some more grass, bring some colors. If you don't want to plant, bring few pots of plants and put in the front yard to make house look more welcoming. So what do we have in conclusions? You never have the second chance to make a first impression. Pay attention to the exterior of the house, to your front yard. Pay attention to the light fixtures. Pay attention to little details like knobs. Uh, pay attention pretty much to everything that you don't pay attention on the daily basis because it's really matter for the home buyer to see the house not where your, with your eyes, but through their eyes. I hope that you see the value of those tips and they are going to be helpful when you are going to plan to sell your house. If you need more tips, please comment below tips and I'll provide you with full list and how much of repairs or remodeling how much each project can cost you and how much it will bring you in return. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.